Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, what's up? My name is VNA Strick. Thank you so much for being here. As you can see by the title, today we're going to be reviewing the brand new Elf X American Eagle collection. I do have the whole collection with you guys. I will walk you through it and let you guys know if it's worth your money or not. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video. And if you do, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to join my squad. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. So this is the PR package. I do have the whole collection and for full transparency, because it's a PR package, I did receive this for free, but I am not getting paid. This is not sponsored. You guys, you know this. This is a limited edition collection, again, with Elf and American Eagle. You can get this whole package for $50 and then I will let you guys know how much everything is. There's really not much in this collection. So let's just go through it. Um, again, I believe this is the box you do get if you buy the whole collection and look, it says 100% awesome. It really is giving like the jeans vibe and then you open it up like this. This is the most interesting bag I've ever had. Most interesting makeup bag. So this is the bag and it really does feel like jeans. Like this is literally a jean pocket and it does have this little tag that I kept on just for the video. You do get a little zipper and it opens up and you do get three different things on the collection. So let's go through it really quickly. So first we have this. So this is called the Get Cheeky Clay Mask. It is gonna be $11 and it is described as a wash off denim blue clay mask that refines the appearance of pores, hydrates and smooths the skin on your face and your bum. So this is for your face and your bum. Let's say that you can use it even if you have normal dry, oily, or combination skin. I'm surprised that they came out with a face mask, but I guess it makes sense because it's a face and butt mask. Not gonna lie, I don't know if I would ever do a butt mask, um, but I did try this out uh, yesterday as a face mask. And you know, it's nice. It smells good. I do like the scent. It's not like overly fragranced, but it does smell nice and fresh. It is $11. So you do get quite a bit of product in here. You get 115 grams. Like this is really like filled up. Um, it is nice. It feels nice. You leave it on for 15 to 20 minutes. It's just gonna like hydrate your skin, refine pores over time. Um, I think it's nice. It's, you know, obviously I've only used it one time, but I do think that it's a good price for the amount of product that you get. I think it smells nice. I think it looks nice. Uh, do I think you should go out and buy this because you need it? Probably not. But if you do get the whole collection in the box, I do think you would enjoy this. It's just like a nice little hydrating face mask. Okay. The next product we have is very interesting. Interesting. So this one is called the Perfect Fit Lip Balm. As you guys can see, it's pH Fit. So it's described as a hydrating pH lip balm. It transforms from dark denim blue to your own perfect shade of pink. It's supposed to be hydrating, moisturizing. The pH technology transforms the color to your perfect pink, like I mentioned. And it does have shea butter. Something I will note is that the packaging is really nice. It's like a soft matte touch finish and it is like a little ombre and I do think the component is really nice actually. So again, this is $8 so I think it's a fair price and I did put it on my hand. At first it looked clear but now it's turning into a pinky shade. So why don't we go ahead and just put it on now so at the end of the video we see how much of a color it truly changed. So let me take off my lip balm. It has like a very, very slight fragrance. You almost don't smell it but it really does smell like the face mask. It's very, very thin, definitely like a balm. I kind of want to only put it on the bottom of my lips so you guys can really see the color that it's turning. It's actually really pretty. It's giving me like a very berry type of shade. I like want to keep rubbing it because it's so thin. It feels nice. I just wish it was a little thicker. I don't know how long this would last. But that's why we're putting it out now so we can see how long it does last. I will say it's really pretty. It does feel like very slip and slidey. But you know, if you're into like a very lightweight, glossy lip stain that's going to give you a nice like pinky tone, I think this is really pretty. I truly felt like the collection was very small. And again, I wish this would have been another makeup product, but I do actually like overall the collection. I think it's very interesting, very random, but I do think it worked out really well. Lastly for the collection, we do have an eyeshadow palette. This is the Denim Days Eyeshadow Palette. It is $16 and it is described as a 12 piece blue and neutral eyeshadow palette in the range of matte and shimmer shades inspired by American Eagle. This is a little unicarton that it came with. And this is actually really pretty. It is like a cardboard, but it's textured. And so you almost do get the feel of like denim. And it does have this little tag. I do love the attention to detail. You do get a pretty nice mirror. And then these are the shades. I like it. I think. 
for the collab, I think they did pretty well and I think it just looks like a really pretty palette. So let's figure out what the formula is like. Let's go into this shade first. It's called Cargos and then maybe we'll deepen it out with Corduroy. And these are both uh, matte shades. This might be too light, but I just want to try it out just so we can try out as many shades as we can. But that actually, that actually built up really, really quick. It's really interesting shade. It's like a taupey color I think is actually gonna work really really well with the blues should we swatch these real quick I did swatch them let's look at it so this is what it looks like it's actually a very very pretty color story I will say this shade in particular is a lot more shimmery than the other shimmers it almost looks like a different formula even by looking at it it's called 90s vibes i'm thinking we should do a halo eye because i kind of want to put this 90s vibes like right in the middle over like a blue halo eye so let's just do that i'm gonna grab a corduroy real quick just to again deepen it out before we start with the blues so i'm gonna do the same thing just keep it a little lower Put it in the inner and outer corner, and then whatever's left will do the crease just to connect both of them. So once I'm done with that, I will start using the shade Indigo. Now this is a darker navy blue matte shade. We are putting it in the inner and outer corner and then connecting it. And then I always just grab the transition shade and try to blend it out as much as possible. For the middle, we're going to start out with Mom Jeans. This is that very beautiful light blue shade. Then I'm going to grab the shade Low Rise, again, just to add more of a shimmery base for the next shade. For the next shade, which is 90s Vibes, this shade is beautiful. I did apply it with a flat brush with a wet brush and it looks like pure metal. And then I did clean up and highlight under the brow bones with the shade High Rise. This is a pure white matte shade. For the lower lash line, I'm just gonna grab the two transition shades. So I'm putting Cargos from inner to outer corner and then going in with Corduroy from uh, just the outer corner just to deepen it out. You guys, I have to say, this is beautiful. If you're looking for a blue palette that is affordable, that is high quality, that kind of gives you everything you need, I think this is great. The matte shades are very pigmented and they're blendable. Not just the neutrals, but like even these two shades, I was shocked at how pigmented yet buttery they were. Sometimes these shades um, tend to be like a little powdery and like different palettes. And then, like I mentioned, Low Rise was not like the most exciting shade. I do think it's a pretty like little shimmer shade, this one. But I will say, this shade, 90s Vibes, is like the perfect way to finish out the look and wet is even better. I'm pretty impressed with this palette, actually. I think it looks gorgeous. I'm gonna go ahead and finish my makeup real quick and I'll be back so we can kind of talk about the collection as a whole and let you guys know if it's worth your money. Okay guys, so I'm back. This is how the lip balm looked at the end of uh, the video. And then I did go ahead and add a lip liner. This is Morphe in the shade Sweetheart. And I just put that lip balm over it just to show you guys how it looks as like a final lip combo. I do think overall this is actually a really cute collection and I do think that everything is nice. The eye shadow palette is definitely my favorite thing out of the whole thing. I do think it's worth the money. I think it's gorgeous. If you're looking for a blue eyeshadow palette, this is the one for you. The lip balm is nice. Again, I wish it was thicker, but if you are into lighter feeling uh, lip balms and you like the pH balance and the hydration and the shine, I think it's really pretty and I think the packaging is really nice. The only thing that I'm like, you know, I'm not obsessed with is definitely the mask, but I did like it. It felt nice. It smelled nice. It looks and feels nice on the hands as well as on the face. And I do think you do get a lot of product for a pretty good price. If you're interested in everything and you are interested in the bag, you might as well just get the whole collection. I will say, most of the time when these like collections come out with brands, I don't really care much for the bag, but I do think this is actually a really cool bag. It has a nice zipper and it does look like a pair of jeans and it is limited edition. So if you are interested in getting this, you might as well get the whole thing. But uh, like I said, my favorite Everything was definitely the eyeshadow palette if you're just trying to pick up one thing. I will link everything down below separately as well as the whole collection. But yeah, I hope that this video was helpful. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye!